and welcome to a brand new vlog. Today we are in Barcelona. I know there's like nothing in the background right now, but we are in one of my favorite cities. Why? Because it touches so close to home. My mom is from here, so my whole family on her side lives here. So this past like Christmas holiday season has been super lit. I've been with my fam for the past like 10 days and it's been such an awesome time. But they don't live right in the middle of the city. So that being said, I don't get to stay in Barcelona like the entire time I'm here. But last night and today we are. So I decided I'd do a daily vlog for you guys to show you what's good in Barcelona and to do a little bit of shopping and maybe some thrifting. So basically I was looking up a bunch of thrift stores because I wanted to go thrifting here. That'd be a fun little concept. And turns out they don't really have thrift stores. Like people who, you know, want to buy gently used items or who are homeless and want to buy like clothes. Um, here the way they do it is like the church collects clothes and then there's distributors that will distribute clothes to different shelters. So there's one though that my brother told me about. It's called Humana. So I'm going to try and go there. There's, it's basically a chain. So I'm assuming it's kind of like Value Village in a sense. And it says used clothing on like the Google Maps description or whatever. So we're going to check that out. So I just called an Uber and we're going to head to one location first. And then if it's lit or if it's not lit, we'll check out the second location. This Vespa is so typical from Spain. I'll show you guys my look for today. So I am wearing a leather jacket. Um, this leather jacket is by the namesake with sort of a mock neck white top. And then I have these new A Goldie jeans with of course my classic Doc Martens. took an uber and now i'm walking to the location but i can't find it and there seems to be like quite a few like vintagey shops around here but like i don't know none of them look like actual thrift stores so pretty much looking like valley village right now but it's a lot more put together I don't know what I'm gonna find here though. I hope there's like some hidden brands, but honestly guys, I'm not I'm not quite sure. We've got a super vintage like camera or vid video camera. And then I think this is like a Polaroid camera. But I mean I don't know if these actually work guys. But that would be sick if they did men's section and I'm thinking about another vintage oversized blazer because why not and I actually forgot my at my grandma's house so now I'm gonna have to wait a few weeks to get it back till my mom comes back home but let's see if we can find a hidden gem like a nice Hugo Boss or something hidden in here wouldn't that be nice this is kind of fancy found her second one This one is way bigger, guys. Pretty spot. Some brands. Another iconic thing that I freaking love that they have here um, are these croissants that are like filled with this like super delicious Nutella e chocolate that is literally to die for. It's not healthy. It's fucking great though. So we're gonna check out this place here. It's called El Fournet. And it's basically a like chain bakery that they have here. And let's see if they haven't been, because I'm definitely gonna have one as a little snack before lunch today. Early one left. Come on, that little one right there. Okay guys, if they didn't have it, the one that I saw is apparently full of cream, which is obviously not what I want. So we're gonna have to find a, another bakery. Um, I promise I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because it's so good and you, you guys just gotta know. You guys gotta know if you come to Barcelona and you love chocolate, you gotta try it. So I just bought a croissant from a bakery that I was passing on my way to the next location. Well, the next like thrift store. I don't know if this is it, so we're gonna like hope for the best, but it's also like super messy, so just keep that in mind. If I like spill all over my shit. Okay, so I've honestly like never had one like this. It's pretty big. But I'm hoping like this is this is what I want. Okay, ready? Hmm. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. It's like dripping with soft chocolate. Another 
fun fact about Barcelona is that when you take like those, you know, those tour buses that like take you around the city, the city bus, sorry, um, they always tell you to look up because honestly, almost all of the streets or if not every street has beautiful balconies and there's a lot of Gothic um, influence for a lot of the architecture here, which is um, influenced by, <clears throat> by Gaudi. Um, who's also designed a bunch of other very popular monuments in Barcelona, um, like the big church, La Sagrada Familia, and then also there's this park called Parguel that's also, um, that he also helped design, so. Lots of, lots of beautiful places to take photos here, guys, except I'm by myself, which means no one can take a photo for me. So I'm happy that I'm meeting my mom for lunch because hopefully she'll snap a few shots so that I can get some content for you guys. Definitely check it out if you're into healthy food and you're in Europe and Spain because it's really good. And now we're gonna go get the car and shoot some content. But my mom found a Tim Hortons on the way here, which I think is freaking ridiculous because I mean, why? Why do you stuff kind of in Barcelona? Yeah, exactly. Even though the coffee here is so much better, as I'm sure most of you would know if you've been to Europe before, the coffee here is way better. Do you guys see it? It's literally right there. Oh guys, look at the Canadian El Café Favorito Canada. Do you think they have the same? I'm gonna quickly peek, see if they have the same thing. They definitely don't. I think so, they have Timbits. Oh, they call Timbits. Oh, they have They do. could not have asked for a more beautiful scene to shoot at. The sun was coming down, we thought it might be too dark. I think it might be my new phone camera that made the photos look amazing, but it's looking great. Very, very content right now. Después en el parc, sota la igual. Imagina't? No. Per l'experiència. Okay, here you go. So this is cauliflower, guys. And you can say that your mother does, never eats cauliflower. Yeah. Really good. Mm. I don't know how to eat this egg though. Here it is. That's the egg. I know, I don't know how to get it. Okay, and now for the fish. I'm literally trying so hard to eat this all separately right now. <laughs> so here's my my final meal, guys. The mejor part is this. Ah, bueno, tú no te vas a comer, ¿no? Sí. Ah, pues esta parte es la más buena, es la más energética. Vale. Vale. ¿O como primero? O último. Yo lo comería último. Vale. Está infusionada en canela. Le agregamos un chile de naranja y sal. Vale. Vale. So this part has the most energy because they cut the roots last. I don't think that makes any sense, but we'll see what, we'll see what it tastes like. Zanahoria mora y naranja y la parte de arriba está combinada con cúrcuma y Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed the little recap of last night's meal. It was honestly so delicious. Again, it was a predominantly plant-based restaurant, but they did have like rabbit and fish and stuff, so anyone could really go if you want to enjoy something that's super tasty and super delicious. I just wanted to come on and check out with you guys because I'm on my way to the airport right now. We're just driving and I have to catch my 12.05 flight back to Toronto, so I've got hours of work to do on the plane edit this video probably so I can put it up tomorrow. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Please subscribe if you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.